I have to put my hand inside to know where the pain is coming from exactly. Because the way I'm seeing this, this is not a labor pain. There must be a complication somewhere and I have to find out. Wait, put your hand away, please. Where are you putting your hand? Inside of my body. Hey! Are you seeing this with your, your eye? Your mind? Are you seeing it with your, uh, from the right frame of mind? Because the way I've seen this, you are. So if I can help you now, you put your hand inside of me. It's not just seeing it alone. Put in your hand. Hey! You want to put your hand inside. Paul. Hey. Have you forgotten that I'm your brother's wife? See, in as much as you're my brother's wife, I'm, I'm supposed to do my job. I'm supposed to put my hand inside and find out where the pain is coming from. That's, that's, that's it. So if I want you now, you put your hand inside. I'm telling you that it's an abomination. Eh? Oh, you know the first, neither me the second. Let me tell you. Even if you're putting your hand in every other woman outside, you will not put your hand inside. Hey, just wait. Hold on, let me finish. Okay. You will not put your hand inside of me. Yes. Because I'm your brother's wife. And it's an abomination. Eh? Hey! Madam, you're making everything seem so unprofessional. It's my work. You're not the first man of this. And you're the third person I've done that to. It's my right to put my hand inside and know where the pains are coming from. Your duty is to put your hand inside of my body. My dear, you will not see it. You will not see it! If I thought you're a professional like you claim, hmm? looking at me alone. I. I... Looking at me alone, eh? You know what is wrong with me? Where this problem is coming from? Not by putting your hand inside. A good mechanic hmm, does not necessarily need to open the car and put his hand everywhere to know where the problem is coming from. Eh? You know, she looking at it alone. The person knows. That's a professional. If you don't do your job, just tell me. Tell me. Please! It's obvious you don't know what you're doing. Abi, I'm off. I'm not going to put your hand inside. If I allow you, you put your hand. Please, I need your help. Okay. Yeah. Still need doctor. Aside from doctor Paul, hmm? I can attend to you. Um, but now, this hospital is one of the best hospitals we have around here that can attend to your case. And doctor Paul is a good doctor. He's a very good doctor that can take care of your case. You don't know why you need to seek another doctor. Hmm? You don't know why you need to seek another doctor. 
I know you don't understand it when I said uh, that I I don't want to talk before. It is obvious you work here, so everything about this hospital will be good. But the truth of the matter is, Dr. Paul here eh, is a very good doctor, no doubt. And the hospital is good, no doubt. But the thing is that he is my husband's brother. <laughs> really? Yes! That's what Paul is a brother-in-law. Exactly. He's my brother's... You understand? My brother-in-law. Uh, th that is the more reason why I don't want it. Imagine eh, opening my leg for my brother-in-law to look. You understand the feelings now, right? Silly, <laughs> 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 madam. For me, I don't see anything wrong with that. Mm. See, let me tell you. Dr. Paul is a professional. He does his work very well. And in this case, he's the only doctor that can handle your case. So for me, I don't see anything wrong with that. So, what you are trying to tell me now is that if your brother-in-law was to be a doctor, eh, you would open your leg for your brother-in-law to check you or to take care of you or to do anything. Is that what you're saying? Say, Madam, to be sincere, there's nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with it. Okay? Nothing is wrong with it. Yeah, you must be worried. Don't worry. I made a mistake coming to ask you for help. Yeah? Don't worry. Now I know your kind of person. I, I don't know why I asked you in the first place. <laughs> So that's the kind of nurse that you are. But ma please, madam, I beg. Don't you expect me to wait? The section today at the hospital. Um, I'm talking to you now. <laughs> Honey, talk to me. What's happening? You and your pregnancy must be really again, eh? What is it now? How is my baby doing? Not happy. You're not happy? Yes. 
I'm not. Why is that? Can you imagine that on getting to the hospital, the person I saw was your brother. He was the one on seat to take care of me. I mean, he was like, oh, hold up. Undress, let me take you. Who does that? What is wrong with meeting my brother? By the way, he's a medical practitioner and this is what he does for a living. He's a professional, so he has to tell you to um, go into the room and maybe take off your clothes and for, for some kind of minor checkups. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with that? I don't get it. It's like you don't understand what I'm saying. You imagine, I mean, your brother seeing my nakedness. <laughs> it's not possible. You know it's not possible. Your brother can never see my nakedness, and I will not allow that. God forbid. Honey, if you are the one who is seeing it from this point of view, you, he's not. It's not as if he's deriving pleasure from looking at your nakedness or anything. You're a pregnant woman, and you're my wife at that. You are his sister-in-law, so he, he has no pleasure whatsoever looking at your pregnant uh, at your uh, at your nakedness. By the way, my brother there is the best medical doctor I believe to be. He's one of the best in his arts. So I, I don't see any problem uh, entrusting your safety and the safety of my child in his hands. You don't see my dear. splash. I am not going back to that hospital. As long as it's your brother that will take care of this, I will not. See, it's better you start planning. Plan on how we can actually go look for another place to register. Because that hospital, uh -uh. I am not. Honey, I hope you skip off this relation of yours. You expect me to, to register you in another hospital. When I have a brother who is, he is ready and capable of rendering free service to you and our child. Huh? You expect me to entrust the safety of you and my child to a stranger. When I have a family member, my dear, who is the medical doctor there. I hope you skip off this illusion of yours. It's like you're not getting what I'm saying. You're not getting it. And you're not going there. And I am not certain about it. I'm serious, oh. <laughs> Don't even think that I'm joking. I am very, very serious. So is it another hospital or nothing? And you be the one to think about this. I believe the most swing of you are and the and the stage which you are in right now is affecting your the thinking capacity. So uh, try and take enough rest. And by the time I, I go out and come back, I believe you must have thought about this very well. Because I, for one, I feel that you will not leave a capable medical doctor who is capable of taking care of you and start looking for a stranger. So just think of uh, rest, rest, sleep, rest, and think about this. Is that what you're saying? I should sleep, rest. Just accept for my brother to take care of you. Okay? His medical facilities is one of the top notch we have on the states here. Huh? And he's a very good medical practitioner at that. Can you please just rethink and you know consider, you know, let, let him take care of you. Please. What kind of man are you? Huh? What kind of man will think the way you're thinking? Other men will support their wife's decision. No, not you. Huh? I don't I just don't understand the way you think. It's so annoying that you cannot even understand the fact that this is your brother you're talking about. Huh? I just don't understand this kind of man. Huh? You are in support of your brother seeing my nakedness. Even if there's anybody that will see my nakedness, not your brother. He should be a total stranger. But are we still talking about this nakedness of okay? hmm? At this point in time, are we still talking about nakedness? By the way, when you are in the living room, 
You won't even remember your name, whether you are naked or not. The only thing in your mind is how to give birth to a child. So what's it with this nakedness of the thing now? Huh? No, tell me! Have you been there before? See, my decision stands. Your brother is not seeing my nakedness, and that is it! Tell me now! You know our, our capacity right now. Financially, we are nowhere. I am not financially buoyant to, to take you to another hospital and start paying the bills that are involved in, in pregnancy and delivery. Please, 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 please. If this is all you have to tell me, if this is all you have for me today, please, just give me space. I need air. This is enough heat. Give me space, please. I will let you have it, please. But if you know this, there is life after the living, okay? There is life after the living. Just think of how we are going to close this thing. How we are going to feed this thing. I want you to take into confidence that there is life after the living. I said, you are the only one that has brother. Eh? What do you have this again in the house? Let us go to my brother's hospital. Huh? We've been staying here for over 30 minutes now, and then there's been no doctor to attend to us. Honey, let's go out now. Let's go to my brother's hospital. Oh, don't stop it. Stop it. Eh? I'm not talking about me that you are talking about your brother. Eh? Please, don't let me go to your brother who see my nakedness. Please, just leave me alone. Honey, mm -hmm. I see seeing. We've, we've, since we, when we came here, we did not see any doctor, did we? All we saw was just nurses. Huh? There's no doctor in this hospital now. Let's go to my brother's hospital. Oh, the doctor! Just call the doctor! I... They have doctor. Call the doctor! Which doctor am I calling? Where there's no... Nurse! Nurse! What's up? Please, please, come, please, come. Um, when is the doctor coming now? Oh, madam, take it easy, take it easy. She's a pain. She's a serious pain. The doctor we have here is not a resident doctor. I have called him, he's on his way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just keep calling him. He's, he's on his way, he's on his way. Yes. 
Um, Dave, I think we have to put some time, okay? How about that to share your things? Right? I'm coming to see you soon. I'm coming now. Just come. See, see, see. see. My brother is the only one I feel about. I'm not going to do that! My brother is the school of the girls. I'll be back with you. 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 Go, 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 please, 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 please. Come back, eh? come back. I know you're angry, eh? I understand that my wife has been at no Just, just, just see her as a woman that is in, in level pains. I think she's not the one, man. She's not the one doing this thing she's doing, eh? Please, don't take whatever she says into her, eh? Don't see it as your, as your younger sister, like, it's not nonsense. See, bro, I don't know why your wife is putting up such attitude. I'm just trying to help her. She's just being after mm, her nakedness and all that. As, as, as a professional doctor, I, I, I am not even after anybody's nakedness. Madam, why don't you want Dr. Paul to attend to you? Dr. Paul is one of the best gynecologists in town. If I'm not mistaken, in this country, this pain you are having is a sharp pain. This is not a level pain. Do you know the danger you are endangering this baby and yourself? This is not a normal pain. Madam, please, I am begging you for what we have observed. You need urgent attention for this to be corrected. If not, you might lose your life or the life of this baby. And you know, I'm doing this because of you. Because of you. I believe you. We are family. We are family. You have no problem. Anytime. I will bring her personally. I will bring her to your husband anytime. Eh? You know, I don't even have money to afford this hospital. And you already gave me a good offer. I don't know you to give up and you pay for something like that. For that for. I know you always got me. You're my family, brother. Sir, please, you have to talk to your wife. Talk to her, please. Talk to her, make her to understand that this pain is not normal. Please. Please. Um, you, you have to remove your clothes, okay? I, you have to remove your clothes. Madam, I have other patients to attend, please. It's okay now. I think it is. It's okay. It's okay. I love you. I love you. I Two hours ago. You can see. He's not around. Okay. Okay. So tell me, how are you doing now? Hi. Hope everything is alright. Everything is fine. 
So we're not really expecting you back to our facility. I mean, come back for a check -up. I'm asking, when are you coming back for your checkup? You know you're supposed to come back for your checkup. I'm talking to you. And I heard you! Uh -uh. Am I there for something? Please! Uh, I'm not in that mood for that question and answer section. Please! Let me be. Uh -uh. What kind of problem is this one? Just give me a break, I think. I was actually thinking you're clean in there, but unfortunately you're not. And that's why you don't want anybody to, you know, see you. I would advise that you keep clean as a pregnant woman. It's very necessary. Yes. And meanwhile, see me lots of my brother when he comes back. Ever since, ever since I brought my wife to your hospital. You started taking care of her. That pain she normally has before, she feels it no more. I can tell you for one certain thing that she's bouncing and healthy now. You see, the baby now, the baby kicks properly. You can be the baby doesn't, she doesn't have that sharp pain she normally has before. She feels it no more now. You feel well? Yeah, I, I noticed a lot of changes while I visited this afternoon. I noticed that she's, she has improved. She's really doing good. Exactly, exactly. You see, when they try to without the capacity of my brother's medical license, <laughs> you know that even when I went to medical school, I tell them that I try to tell her that see, the prophet might not be recognized in his in his own path, but there's only that the family member of the prophet don't don't know that he's a prophet. Yeah. That is the thing. Okay. Thank you for your time. Well, so so tell me how's working so far? Well, I hope it's not easy. Why are you crying? Can you sit up and talk to me? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I told you anyone wanted your brother to handle my health! I told you anyone to handle my health! But you really listen! We already talked about this, eh? So where is this one? Where is this one not coming from again? Where is this coming from? We already talked about this, we already settled this matter. By the way, he took care of the pains. You're no longer feeling any pains. Or are you feeling any pains? You're not feeling any pains anymore. This has proven that he is a good doctor. So what is the problem? If you have any misunderstanding with him, you can always sort this out. You can see him as your brother. Yes. I don't know what kind of man you are. I don't know how to understand you. See, your brother, just get that in your mind. Your brother is not going to hurt you by his delivery. Okay? And he's not having my house again from now. Please! Stop preparing for it! Funny. To be honest, I don't know where this is coming from. But from where I'm seeing this, my brother has proven himself. And I think he's the most suitable person to take care of you and our one child, okay? I have made my point to you. Okay? And that's final! He's not happy by leaving me! And that is final! What is going on between my wife and my brother? Did they have any kind of problem with this understanding?
Honey, ever since I brought up the issue of you going to my brother for treatment, you have remained adamant about this request. Huh? Is there any problem between you and my brother? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have told you. Eh? I am not going to his hospital for treatment or checkup again. And that's fine now. Honey, if at all you have any misunderstanding with my brother, you can always, you can always talk about it. Eh? By the way, my brother is the best surgeon in the States and he has the best medical equipment and facility. So I don't I don't see any reason why in fact you've not even given me any tangible reason why you don't want my brother to treat you. He's a very understanding person, he's a very nice person. And he sees you as a sister. Please speak for yourself and don't talk to your brother. Yeah? He's understanding. You don't even know him so well. Even though you think you know him. Well I think I know him quite well. Anyway, since you don't want to talk to me about what's happening, I have to talk to my brother to know what's happening between you both. And I believe, or I hope rather, he's going to tell me what is happening between both of you. Alright, I'll be heading out right now. You take care of yourself and yourself. Love you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, then I'll call you tomorrow then. I'll call you tomorrow. Right, right. I'm sorry, Dave. Sorry for keeping you guys waiting. I'm so sorry. Um, we have to go now, we guys. Already? Go for a drink. Okay. 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 my matrimonial bed. It is obvious you don't even have respect for your brother or even me. Huh? How dare you call my girlfriend dirty and small? Huh? Look at the kind of girl you're going on. Huh? That small and dirty girl. It is obvious that that's your class and that's where you belong. Trey, you see that girl that you call a dirty girl? It's much more better than you are. More neat and cleaner than you are. <laughs> me. Ask your brother. For your information, I've been able to sleep with so many beautiful, more classy and neat girls more than you are. <laughs> In your wider dream. Huh? You're comparing me to those kind of those, those, the kind of small, small girls you go out with. Cynthia, I'm better a person for you. I am just too good to be your kind. Yes. You can see that's the reason your brother went after me in the first place. See, I can't just be wasting my time battering wars with you. I just wonder what my brother can pass it through your hands. Let me help you. You see, you have never seen my time in your entire life. And you will never see. Because I am too good for you. I am clean, in and out. I am classy, I am intelligent, and I am beautiful as you can see. So I am not in any way the level. Okay, if you claim to be as neat as you are, eh? Come back, can I just see? Go and finish you. Eh? And you just see your brother's wife. And I only told you, you are shameless and dirty. God, if not for your brother, what would I be doing in your family? I... You have to remove your clothes. 
Madam, I have other questions to attend, please. It's okay now. I can't take it easy. So what is it? Please, yeah, I love you. I just want to. You sure you tried to do it? Let me! Let me! I'm, I'm doing it! I was actually thinking you were cleaning in there. But unfortunately, you're not. And that's why you don't want anybody to you know, see you. I would advise that you keep clean as a pregnant woman. It's very necessary. No, 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 I can't do it. I cannot do it. I can't kill anybody. Just help me. Eh? I beg you, help me. See, madam, I cannot commit murder. See, from what you've told me so far, you're asking me to commit murder to kill Dr. Paul. No, I did not ask you to kill Dr. Paul. The only thing I said you should do is just help me put this softness on his seat or around his office. That's all. Madam, whether sprinkling it on the seat or anything, it's the same thing I ask committing murder. Me, I don't want to commit any murder. I'm inside. You told me that Dr. Paul is a mother in law. And now you want to kill him. No, 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 please. Count me out. I'm not interested. In this. See, whatever that is happening in my family is none of your business. Okay? The only thing I ask is just for you to help me. Besides, I'm not uh, I'm not saying you should do it for free. I'm going to pay you all something for it. Huh? Mm. Yes, just give me your account number. So you pay me? I will. Um, madam, how much are we talking about? Just give me your account number. Yes, madam, I don't want to commit murder. You are not want to commit murder. You are not committing murder. Eh? Give me your account number. Go ahead. You send it, I'll, I'll pay you. Call it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, call it. Okay, call this one. Call it, call it. Zero zero. Zero zero. Five five. Two eight. Two eight. One eight. But, madam, are you sure I'm not going to kill him? Mm -hmm. Nobody is dying. Don't worry, eh? Let me send the money first. I'm okay. Um, is my brother Dr. Paul around? Actually, he just stepped out, sir. Just stepped out. Mm -hmm. uh, but he asked me to come see him. Not that long ago. He just received an urgent call right now and it was sound as if it was an emergency, so he stepped out now. Alright, let me call him up. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you don't say that. You don't want to see you. All right. Yeah. Can I wait for you? Just be fast, please, eh? Okay, I'll show you from your office. All right, no problem. Um, he says I should wait for him. Office? office? Yes, his office. 
But, sir, I think it's better you sit here and wait for him. Um, the lobby here is meant for the patient and I'm not the patient. I just want to see my brother. Can't I just wait in the office? Um, but, is but, there anything wrong with that? No, 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 no nothing is wrong with that. Um, just that. You need um, to confirm for him. Well, no. Okay, let me call him so he can confirm. Yeah, hey, Paul, what's up? I think your nurse needs to confirm from you. Yes. To allow me to stay in the office now. You can talk to her. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. I. Uh, it should be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, Paul, I did wait for you now. So you came on. Can we go to the office now? Yes, yes, this way. Oh, this way. I just want to relax, eh? But, sir, that chair is meant for the doctor. Don't worry, sir. Okay. Miss Queen, are you still here? <laughs> no, no, I'm just leaving. Excuse yourself, eh? Don't worry, I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay. About now, what kind of pain is this one? Eh? Eh? When did this one start now? My waist. Oh, your waist. Yes, I am. Yes, it's. God, it's just as if I have this heavy load all over me. God, I'm so restless. Baby, you are scaring me now. You are scaring me. Eh? Oh, yeah. Eh? Ever since I came back from my brother's hospital yesterday, Wait. I've been in severe pain. Baby. Waste. Did you see your brother's hospital yesterday? Yeah, 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 yesterday. Oh. Oh. Why did you go there now? Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. I, I had a, an important meeting. I had to discuss about our village meeting. God. Your brother was there, right? No, 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 he wasn't around. I had, to, I had to wait for him in his office. Jesus! You waited for your brother! You did so. And he was not around! Just, just imagine something. He's <coughs> moving on. The pains, they are moving all over my body. Hey! I can't breathe properly. I'm coming. <laughs> What is going on? What is happening? Why did you allow my husband to enter into the office before his brother? Ah, but madam, I did not know that your husband will be coming today. You didn't know? Oh, you didn't know? And you allowed him to enter into the office when you knew he put the substance on that seat? You must be very stupid. You are very stupid. See, madam, don't insult you. I think God beg no I should not insult you. I was given an order to allow him to uh, go inside the office. And besides, when I took him inside the office, he insisted on sitting in the last seat. Eh? I didn't even know that that thing was going to, to harm or kill anybody. I should not insult you when my husband is dying inside. Dying? But, madam, you didn't tell me that that thing would kill anybody. Oh! Oh, 
Madam, and your husband brother is the one in charge. Understand? So I was ordered to open the door of his office for him to enter. I didn't even know that that thing you gave me was going to kill anybody. Self, I'm so sorry, Cecil. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry. Eh? I'm sorry. I paid for my husband's death. So okay. I paid for my husband's death. Okay. Please, hey, please. stay your condition, please. Please, eh? I'm so sorry. Please, go. Oh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I did not kill my husband. Are you being upset? And now the villagers are saying I should um, swear before a deity. They can't help me. Please. Then you should go ahead and swear to prove your innocence. I can't swear. I'm a Christian. You're a Christian as well and a doctor. You should carry out an autopsy on your brother so that they can actually find out what killed him. Please. Well, it's not in my power to carry out an autopsy on my brother, okay? So it's paramount that you must swear to prove your innocence. No, I can't do that. Please, uh, convince them to do something else. Eh? To, to think of something else. I, I'm not swearing. Please, I can't do that. Help me. You should go ahead and swear. You should swear to prove your innocence. That's it. You should swear. Only my condition.
I swear by the gods of our land that if I have a hand in the death of my husband, let the gods of our land, Omuneke, strike me dead. Yeah. <laughs> 